everybody! Welcome to Dungeon Damsels! This is the new Monster Hearts 2 Valentine's Day edition with me that's talking because I'm going to be the MC in our lovely uh, Dungeon Master wife, my Dungeon Master wife. <laughs> with beautiful long flowing blocks is going to be playing with us so before we start um we're going to do a little spotlight like what we usually do and i'm always leading that off so and i think rightfully so we ha we're going to spotlight every alder at lacking ceremonies on twitter she is the one that made this lovely game that we are about to play called Monster Hearts 2. Bum, bum, bum. Where everybody plays as edgy teens that are also monsters. It's really fun, we swear. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds exactly the same as every teenager I've already met. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it's but yeah, it's a... Uh, we're gonna... Uh, hopefully you discover some of the rules as we're, as we're playing, but it's a pretty simple and fun system and she makes a lot of games kind of like in this vein yeah a lot of them were like post-apocalyptic <laughs> I post but yeah i'm i'm all about it but a lot of them are about ex exploring hey. and personal growth and like also Back. like a big support for the queer community Ooh. The so. Monster Hearts variations of On Your Body, Ribbon Drive, Little Games and Free Offerings, Dream Apart, Dream is Cute, Fun Dream, The so. Quiet Year. Yeah. Are so. these separate games or like modules? What are they? They're separate oh, systems. They're all separate systems. Wow. Yeah, she's made a lot of games. She's been, she's been for the past 13 years, been designing tabletop role playing games. Cool. Yeah. So if you guys haven't already, go check her out, and also check out Monster Hearts 2. Yeah. We're gonna be running that tonight. Yeah. Yeah, so they go. Yeah, should be good. Okay, so... Yep. I'm gonna stop going. streaming. Fair warning, we have played this game before because we really like it so much. But... Are you gonna give them a little backstory at all? We're gonna slowly discover it as we play. Alright. Yeah. That's what I think. Alright, so. Is everybody here ready to dive in? Been ready. Let's go, ready! So ready. Alright, let us dive in to Monster Hearts 2. So, we find our lovely cat. The brisk mountain air hits your face. Low hanging clouds part and reveal evergreen pines that embrace your little town. I just took a picture. A small quaint town filled up strange gossip with even stranger people. So, welcome to Rebel Ridge. The weekend is fastly coming to a close. And then we went back to school for a uh, band of friends. And before it comes to a close, two of our friends decided to unwind with some milkshakes to really revel in their new friendship. You guys find yourselves at a local diner called the Chocolate Chief. At the very front of the diner, you see a life-size wood carving of a Native American chief holding a chocolate bar. Which would you guys want to find more offensive than um, as a... How about Jordan, would you like to introduce yourself? Hey, I'm, I'm Jordan Von Hoon. I am a Native American male who uh, was adopted by... Two um two dads um, out of the foster care system. He 
Um, he doesn't remember anything from three years ago, so he's been spending his time homeschooling, and now is in his like first year of like high school because he spent all that time catching up. But now he's like learning how to have friends, and um, so Jordan <laughs> and Jordan has a lot of pride for his youth tribe culture and would find this kind of offensive and just be like I'm just gonna yeah alright so I'm, I'm curious uh, uh, Jordan uh, you have the um, thing the owner who walks up to your guys' uh, table and uh, what do you order okay so I'm gonna look at Bree and whisper to her I don't know what to get should I was like, I think I'm gonna. I've only had vegan milkshakes before. <laughs> no, look, um, just let me handle this. Uh, Alright, and, um. We're still so right at this. see right next to Jordan, the, um. We have the freshly initiated couple, the other half of that couple. Bree, would you like to introduce and describe your character? Yes, I am Bree. Um, I. She actually has pink hair now. Okay. I thought she very did that very quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was raised um, in a family of witches. I'm very open about that. Not believes me, but you know that's their problem. And I also just broke up with my really terrible boyfriend. Who has got a new boyfriend? Well, they don't need to know about that. <laughs> <laughs> You see, um, you see someone who walks by, well, one of your, one of your fellow students from the school, as um, Evelyn walks past your guys' table and saying, oh my god, I can't believe you guys even come out of the pub. Everyone's saying you guys have been sucks this century. Ugh, it's all over social media. And then she looks straight at the video. She lost her spirit. But she's here and Bree's her cousin and they finally started talking again and now she's here for milkshakes and I guess she's gonna run face first into Evelyn who she kinda of despises. She sits behind her in class. Yeah, do you do you wanna do anything about Evelyn? She's <laughs> like walking <laughs> she's she's walking straight into Trigger. your path. Straight into my path? Okay, well, Miss Mara is not going to have sharp reflexes, so she's probably just gonna get smacked into by this Evelyn. She's gonna have a shoulder right. checker. <laughs> do, you, do you want to try to um, you just shut her down, down or are you just kind of just, just shoulder checking her? No, it's more like I was walking in and then she just kind of hits me there and I'm just like, I, 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 I thought Miss Mara would just be like, oh, she just kind of falls backwards, just like into a booth or something. Yeah, she, um, she looks at you and she's like, watch where you're going. And Mara doesn't say anything. But she watches <laughs> Evelyn leave with this like like this thing is like, oh like you're leaving already. And that's trying to make a good impression on my cousin. <laughs> okay, okay. And I will say, um as you sit down, uh, uh the last the last last one coming in. Hey, hey, did you see the, uh, what's right? you're here. Did you see Evelyn or did you call me a slut? She called me a slut too, but I, I think I'm, I've kind of gotten that, like, hashtagged up here a few times today, so. Well, do you, do you guys feel like a slut? I, mean, I don't think I'm a slut. I don't know what a slut is. Uh, I mean, it's really hard to describe, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, it it's one of those things where it's like, it really uh, shouldn't be matter at this, but a left. Either way, um, this ignore her, that's what I'm trying to do. 
them off. Wolf has the window with her hood in her hand, like she's, she's here with them, but she's also not really good at interacting with anyone. Basically, they think we have too much sex. But everyone wants to have sex. Exactly. Here's Mary. Here's Mary. He like falls into deep thought, like, I don't understand. <laughs> Who's like looking at straight at the window? Excuse <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, me, Miss. Would you? Would, is there anything that you? Would you? Would you want? Would... Well, Mara is always hungry, but never for food. Yeah. It's just, so she's kind of like, like oh, um, whatever. Blood orange. Can we? How about whisper? Get a strawberry because then I can also try strawberry. <laughs> Strawberry, whatever. Uh, okay, a strawberry, whatever. <laughs> um, and um, Mara, very much um, from your prior experiences, you've had this like deep sea sinking hunger, and that has been kind of like the catalyst of why you've been pushing people away. But ever since that, you've um, accepted these people into your lives, it has um, seemed to subside, but the feeling of being with people is still kind of weird, I'm assuming. Yeah, she doesn't know what to do or say, she's kind of just like, uh, yeah. She'll do yeah, what she can. Some people did not prepare me for this. And she will have the strawberry milkshake, but she doesn't like the cake, but she'll have it anyway. Yes. <laughs> No, no pink sprinkles for her. Shut up. We'll take one of the like little straw paper things and like tie it in like a little knot and then just like. Yeah. Um, and the um, the owner looks at Ollie um, almost hesitantly as you're like I imagine you're just like upright and just like almost out of your seat. <laughs> Like, ready for ice cream. Like, uh-huh. like uh-huh. what, what would you like? This? I would like a Neapolitan sundae with brownie crunch, a uh, cookie, uh, yeah, cookie dough ice cream. Oh, mint chocolate chip. And if you could sprinkle all the nuts, marshmallows, and candy, get the can on it. 
Oh, oh, do you have maraschino cherries? I'd like 17 of them. A size of 17. I don't know if we have that. I'm gonna do it, but I'll get you the special. Oh, you like special things? This is way different than oat milk. We've <laughs> <laughs> been laying up our whole life as a lie. What is this? <laughs> and he like grabs Mara's um, um, strawberry. Like, yeah. I should combine these. <laughs> <laughs> you can find them. It's really good. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's like when you look at it, it looks like the definition of too much. If it were in the dictionary, it'd be right next to the picture of just too, too much. Too much in the picture. Teenage oh boy, God. Like vacuums it down. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. to you guys and like just as you're about to grab it you see another hand come like in front of you slams his hand onto the table and uh you guys see um very much a student that you guys are familiar with more so ollie than everyone else you see um pierre you see this asian um asian individual he has kind of like gelled back hair and very much kind of like Almost, almost in a comical like pompadour, and he's like, "Hey, what the heck, fairy girl? You think it's funny I got that stuff with the blame?" What? She's just like, it's just. The, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cops stopped us, and and you just you guys just bailed. I spent the night in jail because of you. Well, you Pierre's in for failure. Oh, are No, 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 Pierre, you're confused, you're confused. We were all supposed to run, and she holds his hand. It's like, that's holding. <laughs> <laughs> right? How uh, it works? Pierre, well, Pierre, you must be tired and hungry. Here, have this. We have so much ice cream right now. <laughs> yeah, he... um, thing, Sit down. Yeah, yeah. She, she grabs one of the empty milkshake cups that uh, for enjoying. I'll take this, thank you. Takes a few from her, like maybe, yeah, like a few uh, scoops of her shake. I hear the tear. You seem hungry. I'm not hungry, and he, like, just, like, uh, crashes the. Um, uh, the, the milkshake on like the floor and it just kind of spills <laughs> and then he's like <laughs> ice cream ain't gonna make this right <laughs> so he's trying to like almost get up got a better solution for well, do you look at the floor well not the way it is now <laughs> I mean you could have been angry with free ice cream but now you're just angry and then he's just like you know what I got a solution just so I can I made some friends and shit. As like, I guess, as you see, I see like these kind of like, <laughs> these older individuals, um, kind of like wearing like leather jackets. <laughs> uh, That's how you know they're in a game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, okay, you're coming with us, fairy girl. She 
Please hurry up, Sir Milche. Okay. Wait, 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 where is she going? Uh-huh. Yeah, where are we going? We won't just take her. She wants to finish her ice cream. She finds this endearing. She's like, this is fine. Try again. <laughs> she just like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey. And then, like, he's like, what the frick is going on? And then he tries to go in for a hit. And then, like, what it does, it just kind of kind of glazes off of you. And, like, your, your, your face doesn't even move. It's almost like you're not even being touched. Yeah, it's, it's almost like you're not even being touched. And then, like, he, like, kind of, like, because he put his full um, weight. body weight, in, uh, weight into it, and he just, like, kind of stumbles, and he's like, what the heck is going on? And, like, oh, it's, it's, it's possible. I'm so cool. And uh, <laughs> behind him was yeah, like, positive. yo, are you, you all right? Dude, hey, stop fooling, man. What, what, what are you doing? Well, we're gonna, well, then we're gonna, it's like, I'm not doing anything. I, I, looked in, I looked into her eyes, and then, like, I just couldn't see. And then, like, with a flash, you guys see just, like, Pierre just like go down. Oh, 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 oh. And then you see just like a trickle of blood as you see um, um, a tall individual wearing a basketball um, jacket. As, um, uh, as you see Angie, who like kind of like comes in, uh, who is this. Tall black chick, she's on the basketball team and it's very close to um to Ollie. Yes. <laughs> my angel. <laughs> Not my angel. She's literally and the coolest person, like on two legs ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, as you guys it was just like a flash. You guys look around and she's just like kinda she's not even in like a fighting stance. See her arms are just crossed and she's just like kinda sick, like Towering over um, Peter's crumpled form as he's like catching himself as he's like white, rubbing his face. And like, she, um, she goes, You could barely stand up to the cops. You think you could stand up to me? And, and like, all, and all of this, like, gang behind him is just like, Oh! <laughs> so to you! It's like, What the? You're like, Peter, like, quickly. She's like, turn the other way, but she's like, what the heck is going on? And she notices 
air breathing on the floor. It's kind of rocking and bleeding a little bit. It's not like white eyes. It's like, what's going on over there? And she looks towards, um, to Ollie. Uh, so, are these your friends? Yeah! Let me introduce you. This is Jordan, this hey. is Tamara, and this is Sweet. Do you want ice cream? We have a lot. <laughs> yes, you're yeah. fine. We're gonna find out later tonight if he's lactose intolerant. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take yeah, some wait, ice cream. What? <laughs> yeah, she like grabs one of the shakes and just like kind of like effortlessly just like takes the straw like into her like mouth and just like starts starts slurping and <laughs> she um, strings it down. Join and then she that? she like really just very effortlessly like engages all of you guys. If they as cool as you, as she looks at Olive, go write my book. <laughs> just say to me like <laughs> And then she's like You guys take care of Ollie. Yeah? Uh, I think she'll be fine, but okay. More like she takes care of us. No, I can I take care of her. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know cool. if anybody else noticed her do that other than Pierre, but <laughs> Yeah, and like, is Pierre like oh, still Pierre's more? Just, no, like as you guys, I know, uh, playing, um, playing. yeah, as you, as you guys are like hanging out, like Pierre kind of picks himself up. His his gang of goons who was backing him up, like as soon as he went down there, all like laughing and just like kind of like dispersed. And he's like, man, I can't believe this guy. And they just like all like left. And he's like, quick, quick, and he's just like. And he looks at um, Ollie and he's like, you're gonna regret this. And then um, uh, <laughs> Angie looks straight into uh, his direction and just kind of like cracks his, cracks her knuckles. And then he's like, whatever. And just like kind of, kind of shyly leaves. And very much as you guys have seen before, he, uh, <laughs> He very much puts up a front, and when he doesn't have his front on, he is, he is a very sad puppy. Yeah. Very pathetic puppy. He needs actual friends. She says, like, all of us are, he just needs ice cream. I mean, he just threw it on the ground. Like, so oh, he's so upset for that, like, you have to know. Yeah, yeah. 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 all of us are, like, crazy. Uh -huh. Yeah, and Angie's just like, I told him to be cool, but sometimes he's just Cool. I didn't. Why are you here anyway? I mean, <laughs> she wanted ice cream, right? Well, I saw Pierre roughing me, trying to rough up Ollie. Thought it was my place. So you were just nearby? Yeah, she was at the. Um... Well, yeah, I just saw. So what happened to you? You need a friend here. And um, you guys actually hear um, a calling from like outside. It's like Angie, and she's like, "Oh, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow." And she gets up and leaves. Oh, and uh, yeah, there's very much like you've seen with Evelyn and Andy. There are a couple of your uh, of the students that are here.
He starts to walk up, and um, uh, you, uh, you're Mar. Do you want to describe Gabe really quickly? Yeah. So uh, yeah. So Gabe, uh, he has an anime T-shirt on. <laughs> totally. <laughs> he's, he's not exactly lanky, but he has a he's just a very nice guy, you know. Uh, but uh, he's also black, and uh, he's just you know. He's the, the dude at the school that's, you know, chill and nice and happens just to like anime. I mean, and he sits next to Amara in class, so he's always trying to talk to her, but she's too afraid she's going to, um, quote unquote, eat him eventually, so she's been avoiding him. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he's not really cool, like, and like, she just doesn't want to, you know... She, she doesn't want to turn a chum into chum. She doesn't want to inconvenience him with herself, but he seems to constantly inconvenience himself with her. Mm-hmm. So it's just something she can't avoid. She's yeah. Obsessed. So, like, Gabe, Gabe walks up to you and is like, Hey, I didn't expect to see you here. Or he looks over and he's like, Or even out. This is, this is a nice change. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Or so she's just kind of like, has her hand like over her mouth, she's more of a butter, but she's like, What are you doing here? I guess. Oh, I was supposed to meet Zadalia, but I don't, I don't heard from her. But, um, hey, uh, hey, I was, I was, I was wondering, uh, the, you know, the, are, are you, are you going to the school dance that's tomorrow? The what? Yeah, there's a like, Marvel Oh, sure. Let's go. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of Yeah, it's really weird. Valentine's Day kind of runs on Monday. Um, but, uh, I mean, not, not that it has to be a date or anything. I mean, um, would you, would you want to go? So, Mara doesn't know what to say. She's just kind of staring up at him like a haunted bug eyed look. Like. Yeah, and I, I will say, like, during this exchange, the, um, the, uh, the hungering pit that's in your stomach that has subsided starts up again at the potential of more happiness. Yeah, as cool. it's yeah. right. Uh, 
them. But if you showed up and she also showed up, that could be a gap. Would be great. Well, then, Jordan, did you say that? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, if you show uh, up and she also finish. shows up, that could be a thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, Gabe, Gabe was like, like kind of nervously, just like kind of looking around, kind of like deer in the headlights. It was just like, yeah, we don't, I mean, it doesn't have to be a date or anything. I mean, we could just be in like the same dance. I mean, yeah. Mara has changed her bug-eyed glare from Gabe over to Jordan. <laughs> and she's like, why did you say that out loud? It's just like, why did you do that? <laughs> Pointing eye contact and just drinking the, the milkshake, even though there's no more milkshake. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> you just look at the empty glass. Like, sugar. Sugar. Like, okay, we're we're having surfing on sugar. Yeah, anyway, so then Mara's just like, I mean... I guess I I don't I mean sure I mean I don't don't wait for me but I mean yeah I mean, was bad at this yeah so he's bad at this. just like uh, uh and he he looks he's like kind of smiling but also kind of confused because it was like kind of a yes <laughs> and he's like yeah it'll be great to hang out again uh yeah I guess I'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, okay. <laughs> he is like very much like every high schooler. He is gone. He just darts out. As soon as like you Bye. for everybody for okay. everybody here in the audience at home, every high school, as soon as they get that yes, they're just like before you change your mind. <laughs> Sonic rolls. Except he's doing Naruto run because he's so cool. I'm not gonna make sure. No, he has a straight line. Alright, so we're gonna get this. Alright, she has her hand right here holding her head up, and then she just kind of lets her hand go. So her head just goes boom against the top of the table. And then she tries to talk to her. I'm going to be totally fine, fuck. Nothing's going to go wrong, fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. This is a weird pack pack. I've never seen them like it. Do you have a dress? A what? A dress to wear? I mean, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I'm saying I should have those two for the fancy. I have my jeans and my dad's flag. Oh, I know this perfect trick to like take a, um, a big flat shirt and turn it into a dress. Oh, I, I wasn't actually- She has a lot of leg, though. I think she had that Oh, yeah. I wasn't actually going to go, so it was kind of- <laughs> I mean, we're going. Yeah. Why don't you just go home? Yeah! All he's good. Are you going home? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I have to go home. I mean, I can't- I mean, like, I can probably find you a suit. I think my dad's happy. And Mara is not going. And I like wink like 
like 50 times. <laughs> It's the sugar rush, isn't it? There's a lot of sugar in this. <laughs> I was trying to warn you about the sugar. You're just like, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I just drank 50 milkshake. <laughs> okay. Also goes really fast. So I will say, um, you guys finish up your milkshakes. You guys try to comfort Mara, more or less. More or less. More or less. Is comfort even possible for Mara Jones? I mean, I don't know. You you still have like that um, pit in your stomach that's just like kind of lingering there. Um. All right, as you guys walk home, yeah. Come out of the bathroom, and I'm like. God's bathrooms are always terrible. Are they? Yeah. I hear been girls. Been I hear the girls have before. couches in their bathrooms. Sometimes oh. we also have all of our doors in the shop. You got some doors? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm lucky to have like I'm a little partition okay. thing. Yeah, it's really weird at this this very just like kind of small town diner. There's like maybe like two stalls in the men's. And then the women's bathroom is a full couch. <laughs> Just a couch. I didn't see the bathroom. The Alright, I will say that it is getting late. You guys are walking home. But, um, you guys are holding hands. Yes. Yes. This is a big bed. Very important. Yeah, Jordan, we are holding hands, and I will say that as you guys are. <laughs> um, but the next <laughs> day, um, the next day is close, and I will say, you guys feel some eyes piercing through. It was heavy upon your chest, and you can most feel the breath raise your neck. It starts in the most mundane of classes, your U.S. history class. Mr. Oh, McConnell. 